this is an example of the relation between spanning set for a vector space and linearly independence. Well, let's look at a set of vectors v1, v2 to vn. And this set of vectors here is a spanning set for the vector space v. Right. And let v, a vector, another vector v, be another vector in v in the same vector space. And you want to show that v, v1, the set v, v1 to vn are linearly dependent. Well, let's Let's, let's look at all the conditions that we have, all that we know, right? So we know that V1, V2 to Vn, a set of these vectors here is a spanning set for V, right? Vector space V. What does it mean? That means there exists a set of scalar alpha one, alpha two to alpha n, such that if we pick a vector in V, right? Let's say this vector is such that V, because V is in the vector space V, then we can just use vector V. Um, v equals to alpha 1 v1 plus alpha 2 v2 plus alpha n vn. Okay, again, vector v here is a vector that we talk about up here, is a vector in um, vector space v. So if v1 v2 to vn is a spanning set for v, then there will exist a set of scalar a1, a2 to uh, alpha 1, alpha 2 to alpha n, such that v is equals to alpha 1, v1 plus alpha 2, v2 plus alpha n, vn, because v here is a, a vector in vector space v, and this is the definition of the spanning set for vector space. In another word, uh, v is a linear combination of v1, v2 to vn. And now we want to show that v, v1, vn are linearly dependent. v, v1, vn are linearly dependent. Okay, so in order to show this, we need to consider a, um, so to do this, to show this, we want to consider the equation, let's say uh, beta v1, beta v, right? We ha have to start with beta is a scalar, beta v plus beta one v1 plus beta two v2 plus beta n vn equal to zero. We consider these equations and uh, to show this, consider the following equations and show that beta, beta one, beta n are not all zero. So if you can show that there exists a set of scalars that not are zero, that will uh, satisfy this equation, that means V, V1 to Vn are linearly dependent. Because remember, if this set of vectors are linearly independent, then all the scalars has to be zero, okay? Well, let's say, let's see what we have here. So we have this as the conditions information that we know. Okay, so here is the solution, um, solutions. Since we know that V equals to alpha one V one plus alpha two V two plus alpha N V N, then we can move V to the other side. So then I have zero equals to, or let's move this. 
I move V, I move everything to one side, right? So I have V1. V minus alpha one V one minus alpha two V two minus alpha N V N right equals to zero. All right. So now I just found that that means that implies the set of scalar. one, negative alpha one, negative alpha two, negative alpha n the set of scalar, this scalar here, I will show you one here, alpha two, one, alpha two, and alpha n, the set of scalars satisfy the equations That's not R zero. And satisfy the equation number one. by the definitions the set of scalar v v1 vn are linearly dependent okay as because we just show we already show that if you consider this equations and if there's a set of scalar that not r zero that satisfy this equation then v1 v2 uh, v v1 to vn are in or linearly dependent and this is what we show here so we use the condition that we have from um, the fact that v1 v2 to vn is a spanning set for v and the fact that v here is a a vector in the vector space v to come up with this equation here right and from this equations i move everything to one side set the other side to be equal to zero so this equation here and this equations are the equation that we want to look at okay so we have v1 v2 to vn we have v here and now i found that the set of scalars which is one v negative alpha one negative alpha two negative alpha n is this a sketch a set of scalars that not are not all zeros because at least one of the entry is not zero which is one right they're not all zeros and they also satisfy the equation number one here so by the definitions v1 v v1 to vn are linearly dependent now this is how you use the definitions of linearly independence of a set of vectors have you use a definition of spanning set for a vector space in order to show that if you have a set of vectors is a spanning set of a vector space and then v is another vector in the same vector space then the set of vectors v uh, v1 to vn are dependent on each other